Good morning, my YouTubers. This is The Sleeve Singer coming to you with my week 40, 41 post-op update. <clears throat> Sorry about the throat clearing. Got the morning voice going on. I'm on my way to work. Um, not a great day here in Maryland, but it's supposed to be 80 degrees today. And yours truly is going to the Oreo game. Go O's um, for afternoon. Uh, kind of a team building event at my job so should be fun um, so let me give you the numbers um, the beginning of my journey by the way thank you to all of you new subscribers I hope you found my journey interesting and you learned something from it um, post the video if you have not done so um, it's the best way to get the support you're looking for on YouTube um, we will all sub you and uh, keep your journey informational and we'll be right there with you so anyway the beginning of my journey I weighed in at highest recorded weight of 295 pounds weight date of surgery which was August the 1st gosh it's almost a year um, was uh, 277 pounds. The last time I made a video, I was at 180, and today I'm at 179. Um, I am uh, okay with where I am now because I can tell that I am losing inches um, instead of weight. I mean, it's been teetering. I have seen 178, um, <clears throat> but that's usually like right after I finish working out, and you know, a lot of the water has left my body from sweating. So 179 is where I'm holding now and I honestly think that I will not move from 179 unless I change some of my snacking habits. And I'm trying to get better with that. Some days are better than others. Um, my snacking habits are not on things that are really bad. Um, what's happening though to, for me is I'm finding myself snacking out of habit, which is more than just choosing the bad stuff it's eating when I really am not hungry and that's not something that I want to do ever again um, spent a lot of time doing that for the first half of my life so um, I am really interested in more about um, you know the lifestyle change that we've got now requires us to, to crush the bad habits that we had um, when we were here um, when before surgery and I am um, I mean I'm content with where I am now weight wise and how I look and, and how I feel which is more important um, I'll go back for my um, yearly visit in August and um, you know have blood work done and everything to make sure the inside is is good and one of the reasons why I had the surgery but I am more concerned about the habits that I'm forming because railroad tracks Elisa Marie um, because uh, I, I feel as if that is where we really will um, let that beast come back into our lives um, the tool you know kicks in and, and lets me know hey you know that's enough even if I have like um, something bad like a, a one ounce bag of chips or something it just doesn't feel good um, mentally and uh, physiologically like my stomach just is just okay <laughs> so um, I am uh, you know really trying to practice better habits um, you know like I'll grab a sugar-free pudding when you know what it's just really I'm not even hungry right then and there um, or I'll uh, grab some fruit when I'm really not hungry so my snacking isn't bad on, on what I'm snacking on it's when I'm snacking I don't always need to and I think that's why you know I've only peaked at 178 meaning P-E-A-K, peaked at it on the scale, or P-E-E-K actually, on the scale, um, but not um, really seen it as the actual weight, because I need to change some stuff up, so um, that's what I work on. Um, what else do I have for you? I have a show this weekend, um, very much looking forward to it. Um, you know, I post. I have another Facebook account. I posted a picture out there of the flyer that I showed you guys, and I'm getting crazy hits on it. Um, 
about what am I, what are you doing to um, lose all this weight and everything and all and you know I know this is a bit a major um, subject that we have discussed in the weight loss surgery community about why we are not telling people that we had surgery or we're selective in who we're telling or we're not telling at all and you know what's funny is I'm starting to get to that point now where I feel like I can tell people what I did um, I actually experimented on someone um, and saved the fact that I had weight loss surgery as the last piece because you know what it is the last piece now because what's happening now is you know the responsibility is changing to me and my lifestyle change and what I'm doing so it's kind of like the tool um, is just a small part of my new lifestyle change if that makes sense so I'm starting to feel comfortable with telling people I'm starting to feel like um, you know like for example I experimented on a person and I said to them yeah, well, you know, I, I adopted a new lifestyle change. Um, you know, I exercise like six days a week, sometimes seven. I go hard for one hour. You know, when I leave the gym, I'm spent. You know, I don't, you know, leave the gym and, and worry about my hair or, you know, worry about sweating or anything like that. I'm in there and committed for an hour. It's my time to burn the calories and to get my heart stronger and my legs stronger and to feel better. And um, that's how your workout should be. And um, I also just try to make better choices when I choose, you know, to eat. You know, I try to leave the carbs alone. Um, do I do that every day? No. Um, I don't eat bread, really. And, um, you know, I, I uh, eat toast, you know, when I can. And um, I just, you know, I have adopted better habits. I'm trying to be more educational about food and really understanding what it does to your body and how it makes you feel when you eat it and, and all of that kind of stuff. And then I say, oh, and I had weight loss surgery too, you know, and I leave that as the last resort because, you know, that is kind of insignificant now. And I think that that's why, not insignificant, but just not as major as the other things that I'm doing. And I think that that in the beginning, that was why we may have felt like um, we didn't want to tell people because, it, I mean, to be honest, the tool was doing most of the work in the beginning. And um, now it's about the shift. And I do have responsibility now for how I feel and what I'm doing and how I'm drinking and what I'm eating. And and that's why I feel like maybe I'm, I'm going to start to tell people. I mean, I got a kickstart to a better life with the tool. But now I feel like um, it's about me. It's about what I'm doing. And it's okay if you know that I had weight loss surgery. Um, because you will see me you know, still getting my life on in a healthy way uh, by going to the gym, by better choices when we go out to eat, you know, by eating smaller portions. You'll see me doing that because I choose to, not because I have to. And I think that, that that's why I'm starting to feel comfortable with that. The portion size, that's when the, the tool does kick in. You know, it controls our portions, especially when we go with the denser proteins. Um, when I go with the chicken and, and the fish, I can't consume as much. But to go back for seconds, Seconds and thirds once you know it goes down my head kicks in and like why? why why do that go ahead and put that in the to-go um, container and don't even look at it anymore you know that's where I am now and that's why you know with the responsibility shifting to me I'm feeling like maybe I'm gonna start to feel more comfortable with telling people um, so um, I'm going to leave it there for you guys. Um, like I said, my weight is 179. Um, I'm losing inches definitely. I bought um, a pair of pants um, for this gig that I have this Saturday. Um, I bought them like three weeks ago maybe. Three or four weeks ago. And knew that they were going to be the gold pants um, that I uh, wanted for my gig and I tried them on yesterday and they fit and um, I'll post a picture of that um, so uh, I um, 
you know I'm wearing like I could wear I can wear a size 10 dress pants with no problem but I couldn't quite get into size 10 jeans and that's what these are these are size 10 jeans um, that are like low rise kind of thing and um, I carry what weight I have left still in my belly area um, a little bit so um, you know those jeans fit but they were tight around my thighs and my and my um, my midsection like right where I carry my weight when I bought them and I was like that's my goal now I'm, I'm gonna get in these babies um, for my gig and um, I can get in them so I'm happy um, you know it's a battle every day and you gotta keep your eye on the prize and and um, work towards some kind of goal each each way baby steps you know you can't jump from A to Z without touching the other letters of the alphabet so don't compare your journey to anyone else's um, just know that you should have some kind of progress in areas of this thing you know you should have either food project proof food goal pro, uh, progress you should have you know clothes progress you should have you know a habit progress you, meaning those are all areas that you want to work on to get better and um, you know with that you, you should get to where you want to go and baby steps whatever steps you know are needed for you to feel like you are doing the best that you can with your tool all right I'm gonna leave it there you guys I'm almost at work I will um, talk to you guys later and I hope you have a great day um, stay healthy see ya